This is a bonus video and not very much related to the usual sensors and microcontrollers. In this series I want to reach a geostationary satellite and talk to another Swiss guy in Antarctica. If not done so, I strongly suggest you watch the series from the start, as you do it on Netflix. Gritzy YouTubers, here is the guy with the Swiss accent, with a new episode and fresh ideas around sensors and microcontrollers. Remember, if you subscribe, you will always sit in the first row. In the last videos, we built a prototype for the transmitter and learned how we could create a receiver out of standard and quite cheap parts. And we heard stations from the QO100 satellite. In today's video, I tried to finish the prototype of the transmitting part by building a 2.4 GHz directional antenna, mount it to the dish, connect it to the power amplifier and try to receive our signal through the online receiver in Cornwall. The goal is to hear my own voice from the satellite. Exciting! Why will I not receive my signal with my own receiver? Because life taught me something important. First test the parts and then the whole. Like that, errors can be found much easier. But if you want to test the parts, you first have to have an overall plan. And we planned only to use one dish. So we have to have the transmitting as well as the receiving antenna at the same focal point of the dish. Some talented hams created this concept. We place a 2.4 GHz antenna in front of the LNB. But how does the LNB still get its signal? Easy, they said. They punched a hole into the transmitting antenna and added a waveguide. This waveguide, a plumber would call it copper pipe, guides the waves from the front of the transmitting antenna straight into the horn of the LNB. An exciting idea. The inventor maybe thought the same when he called this concept potty, patch of the year. Patch is the name of the antenna concept used. It consists of a nearly round reflector and a patch in front of it. Each dimension has to be very precise as well as the distance between the two. Because I did not want to mill brass myself, I bought the parts and soldered it together. I leave a link to an instruction video in the description. Just one remark. The patch can be soldered in two ways. One is wrong, if you know what I mean. By the way, the theory behind the antenna is quite impressive. It is a circularly polarized antenna, like for example a helix. If you look at a helix, somehow you understand that it creates a circular polarization. But the nearly square patch? I will never understand these antenna sorcerers. This patch antenna in reality is not only one antenna, but it is two antennas combined. One with its resonance slightly below 2.4 GHz and one with a resonance slightly above 2.4 GHz. So both antennas are not optimal for 2.4 GHz. But one seems to have a phase shift of minus 45 and the other of plus 45 degrees. The fact is, if the two signals are added, the polarization should be circular. I have to believe it because I cannot measure it. Anyway, we will see if it works. And this is the most important for an engineer. Only the physicists have to understand everything. Here I have the finished antenna. And, unfortunately, it does not have precisely the desired behavior shown by others. At least I know that it has a VSWR below 2 at 2.4 GHz. So my amplifier should survive especially if I do not have to crank it up to the 20 watts, as a few of you suggested. I replaced the shitty LNB from the last video with one with a quartz and a PLL. If you do not know what I'm talking about, you might not have watched my last videos. The LNB looks very similar to the first one, especially it has also a horn antenna. I try to remove the original cover to drill the 22mm hole for the waveguide. Unfortunately, this was not non-destructive. So I printed a new cover. Of course, with a hole already included. 
and ready are my two combined antennas. But wait, I forgot something. The lens. Also voodoo for me. But it should focus the incoming signal into the waveguide. It is of a sort of plastic, maybe nylon or so. The relevant plane for the antenna is no more the horn as before. It moved to this place. So I had to print a new mount. To test the transmitting antenna, we have to readjust the dish direction with a standard receiver and then mount the potty. The modified LNB is not used for our today's test. Unfortunately, I tried several things but did not hear anything back. I was on the right frequency, had enough power at the exit of the power amplifier and the dish pointed to the right direction. So the suspect is the antenna, where I have to continue working next week. You see, also here, not everything works as expected. One last thing. The next Sunday's video will also be related to this project. But it has a broader application and therefore qualified for Sunday. As always, you find the relevant links in the description. I hope this video was useful or at least interesting for you. If true, please consider supporting the channel to secure its future existence. Thank you. Bye.